has and make shaking boots. William and Kate shining at Caribbean get closer to crown on Queen's Jubilee. Prince William and Kate are visiting Belize, Bahamas, and Jamaica, the home island of reggae legend Bob Marley. It is hoped their trip will persuade the three nations to keep the Queen as head of state. Prince William and Kate will arrive in the Caribbean today on a royal charm offensive. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge aim to capture hearts and minds in Belize, the Bahamas and Jamaica. It is hoped their trip will persuade the three nations to keep the Queen as head of state, unlike nearby Barbados, which became a republic last year. They intend to engage with historic cultures by going head to head in a sailing regatta and dancing to Jamaican legend Bob Marley's tunes. In the royal family's first major overseas tour since the pandemic began, William and Kate's eight day tour will mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will not return to a royal family over career fears regarding the roles of those not directly in line to the throne, a constitutional expert has said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have stepped back from royal family life to pursue careers not permitted within the traditions of the institution. Relocating to Meghan's home state of California, they have secured lucrative deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, and have waded into humanitarian and political debates. But Dr. Bob Morris claims the firm's focus on the heir apparent and those who are likely to rule in their lifetime sidelines the potential of the spares within the royal family. Dr. Morris, of the Constitution Unit at University College London, told that the monarchy has perhaps been unimaginative in developing the careers of the spares. Part of this, he added, is that the institution may rely too much on military careers. Kensington Palace said it will also celebrate the relationship between the individual nations and the Queen during her 70-year reign. It added that the trip will take in projects being undertaken to address challenges faced by local communities. There will also be a focus on issues the Duke and Duchess care passionately about including the environment and early childhood development. The couple are due to kick off the tour in Belize this afternoon. On Monday they will travel to Caracol, the ancient Mayan archaeological site deep in the Shikibul forest. They will then visit a farm in the foothills of the Maya mountains and learn about the precious barrier reef along the country's coastline. William will also take a trip down memory lane when he and the Duchess spent time with the British Army Training Support Unit in the jungle. In 2000, William spent time with bats up under the guidance of the Welsh guards. The royals will also walk in the Queen's footsteps as they retrace her journey to the Mayan ruins at Cajalpec, near San Ignacio, where Her Majesty visited in 1994. On Tuesday in Jamaica, which celebrates the 60th anniversary of its independence later this year, William and Kate will visit Trench Town, the birthplace of Bob Marley. Later they will watch the Jamaica Defence Force in action. Kate will also visit a teaching college to learn about Jamaica's work on early years development of children, a subject close to her heart and a keystone of her campaigning work in recent years. In the Bahamas on Friday the couple will go head-to-head -head during the Platinum Jubilee sailing regatta. Prince Harry, although a prominent staple of the royal family since his birth, has not been seen as carrying the same royal responsibility as his elder brother, Prince William. Prince William, who is second in line to the throne after his father, Prince Charles, will then pass the crown down to his children. This convention in the line of succession means that Prince Harry slips further down the pecking order, and is currently sixth. He now comes after Prince William's children, Prince George, eight, Princess Charlotte, six, and three-year-old Prince Louis. But the role of the spare is ill-defined and often will see the youngest children of the monarch, or those not next in line, turn to the military for a career in the armed forces.